Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. So as you guys know, I did a Funko Pop photography video maybe like a couple weeks ago, or maybe even a week, I'm not 100% sure. But today I'm going to do more Funko Pop photography, but this time I'm gonna use some props and accessories to make the photos just a little bit better. So let's get right into it. Now before we get too far into the video, these are the four Funko Pops that I am going to be focusing on today. So I have some really cool ideas for each one of these, either including accessories or props. So let's start off with the first one, this one right here, and let's go show you what I have planned. Now before I get over to my location where I will be taking the photos, I just wanted to show off this Funko Pop out of box really quickly. This thing is weird but it looks absolutely amazing. There's so much wonderful detail in it. I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. So guys, we are in my first location for some photographs and the lighting down here is not the greatest, but I just wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna set this thing up and then I'm going to show you what it's gonna look like before I take the actual photo. So guys, here is where I am taking the photo and I'm trying to kind of like recreate the scene from Stranger Things of him in the basement with the flickering lights. So my accessory that I'm using is my flashlight. And what I'm gonna be doing is at some angle, I'm going to be going like that. And then I'm gonna be taking a bunch of photos. Now my camera's going to sleep for some reason, but I have it set up. So that is what it looks like right now. And I'm gonna try it out and let's see how it goes. So guys, I managed to grab a few photos and as you can see, I'm playing around with the light quite a bit to figure out something that looks kind of cool, kind of creepy. Um, but I did capture a few of them. And of course, I will show you guys at the end of the video. So guys, we are at my next location for my next Funko Pop. And this one is Raichu. Now I am using an actual Pokeball that I had in my room as the prop. So my idea was to have Raichu chilling in half of the Pokeball and have the other half kind of off like he's trying to escape. So I'm gonna try to capture a few photos. I hope it turns out as good as I see in my mind, but I'll update you guys after I'm done this. So guys, I am actually really happy with how these photos turned out. They turned out a lot better than I was expecting. And I think that's the thing is when you use props or accessories that just enhance your Funko Pop that much more, the photo will look so much better. And I just wanted to show you guys a quick little thing that I did to make the photos a little bit better. And that was basically just move around your prop, make different compositions. Let me show you what I mean. So currently this is what the Pokeball looks like. I moved it around a little bit and I actually came down and took some photos kind of like this. So you have an idea of what the photo will actually look like, but I'm really happy with it. So guys, I am actually now back in my room and the next Funko Pop I am using is this good guy, Chucky. Now I actually have a box as the prop this came from an action figure. I actually have the action figure right over here. I might end up using the box of the action figure as well. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to come up with some cool photos. Let me show you guys what I'm going to try to do. I don't know if it'll turn out well, but we'll see. Currently, oh Jerry, sorry guys. Currently I have my Funko Pop set up like this with the box. I think that would make a nice simplistic photo, something like that, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit and yeah, let's just see how it turns out. Well guys, I realized halfway through this video while recording this that I didn't really give you guys any tips or anything. So this video is gonna be more of how I take my own photo. So it's a bit more personal, but if you guys wanna follow along and take some notes, go right ahead. So guys, now I am onto my last Funko Pop, which is hula stitch and I'm doing something very different with this. I'm actually trying to kind of like create my own atmosphere or own scene, I guess you could call it. Um, so I'm gonna be using some sand and hopefully some water, maybe with a little bit of food coloring in it. So 
Wish me luck guys, because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So guys, I'm still trying to figure out something to do with the water, but I did get the sand set up for a small scene here. Um, I like this a lot. I'm still gonna play around with the water and see if I can figure something out, but I will keep you guys updated with that. Also, Pebbles, wanna say hi? Pebbles. There you go guys. There's Pebbles. So guys, my idea for the stitch photograph was kind of a bust. I couldn't figure out what to do with the water, but I still got a half decent photo that I'm happy with. So now I'm gonna show you guys all the photos that I took today. I am really happy with how some of these turned out. And guys, don't forget to please let me know down in the comments, which one is your favorite. So guys, that is actually the end of the video today. I had a lot of fun with this video, making it, editing it, doing everything. It was just a blast and I love to get outside and do something a little bit different. As always guys, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to do those three things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.